It seems it's the week for WA footy greats to call it a day. Yesterday, Fremantle star David Mundy announced his plans to retire at the end of the season. Justin Longmuir joins me now. Justin, he's been and still is a true champion. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he's one of the greats of the game. Um, yeah, and no words can, can put into perspective of what he's, what he's done for our club, really. So, um, yeah, it was a sad day yesterday. Um, yeah, and we want to make sure that we um, find something to take him out on the right note. Did you try to talk him out of it at all? No, not really. Um, you know, he said himself yesterday he wanted to go out with something still left in the tank. And, yeah, in his words, it's the right time. So, um, yeah, I'll let it, I'll let it be yeah, like he said yesterday. You've known him for a very, very long time. Just describe to us the person David Mundy is that maybe we don't see. I oh, just really admire the resilience um, that he's shown over his career. Um, you know, I think I was watching um, something on YouTube the other day and it showed his goal after the siren, and I think that sums him up really well. He's calm in a crisis, um, he's really considered and composed, and he's able to execute under pressure um, when, when the team needs him most. So, um, you know, he's been able to play a variety of different roles within um, his 19 years, and um, like I said before, he's, he's, let, he's still got some in the tank. So, um, yeah, he's just a true champion of our club. Hopefully still some big games to come for Dave, starting this week against the Dogs. But firstly, what went wrong against the Ds for you guys? Oh, a lot went wrong. Um, but, yeah, we, we really struggled around the ball um, with their, their contest and pressure. They outhunted us and they played with a greater intensity from the very start of the game, which is disappointing given the... I suppose a big stage, uh, and we just had too many players that didn't contribute. So, um, yeah, we, we reviewed it pretty heavily, and um, you know we're looking forward now. And how have you seen Matt Taberner's form? Oh, I think it's you know clearly he's not in the form he'd like to be in. Um, clearly he's had an in interrupted year, and um, yeah, we, we need to get him going. We need to get him back somewhere near his best because um, you know at his best he's one of our best forwards. So we'll work with him this week, and um, yeah, we'll. Hopefully see he's, he's um, somewhere near his best this weekend. And how's Nat Five tracking? Is round 23 possible for a return still? Yeah, that's the plan at this stage. So, um, yeah, he's ticking the boxes as, as we speak. So, yeah, we're looking at round 23. The Bulldogs Saturday afternoon at Marvel. Justin, good luck. Thanks, Ryan.